from that day three and Sunday a lot of the smack you all rap, L rappers and the whole staff came out to John John's event um, bullpen battle league the same place where they uh, filmed the blue room the red room for bags and bodies blue room for RBE um, also um, Atlanta battle rap league started it off over there a lot of leagues come through there for you recording studio but they didn't do it in where they have the blue room and the red room they did it across the hall where um, Bags and Bodies started out season one and where Atlanta Battle Rap League, Atlanta Battle Rap does their um, their joints on that black stage. We call that the Bull Room. That was an interesting setting um, and an interesting event. At the end of the day, the card was called Rec Room Reloaded. It's the second Rec Room they did it before. In the past, this Rec Room was consisted of um, first battle was PC versus bonus second battle was was it Bars Major it was Bars Major versus Lataze third battle Reggie P versus Flacco L um, I got the order wrong though Lady Caution versus Ash Cash last battle was the main event Losa versus Super Black let's get into it um, nice setting uh, first thing John John said, we ain't doing no dark lights. He said, I want the bright lights. Ain't none of that red room and blue room and all that. You know, we ain't biting over, off of no one else's platform. You know, we're going to have a very well lit situation going on here. And that's what we got. You know what I mean? Um, nice turnout. Nice turnout for a little small room like that. It was the same turnout they always get. So. I'm not going to say there was two, 300 people there, but it was over 100. They packed over 100 in that room. They got about 100 in there. Um, great event. We had fun outside. A lot of a lot of stars showed up. You know what I mean? A lot of big names. You know, like I said, the URL cast was there. Um, Old Red was in the house. Shotgun Shug was supporting. A lot of cats was hosting. Clone was there. Um, e Hart was there. T Top was there. Who am I leaving out? Tay Rock, of course, was there. Lady Caution uh, performing. Um, a lot of names. Who else? We've seen Hurricane Do in the house. We had uh, Henny Man was in the house. The whole, the whole Battle Rap Trap was in the house. Shout out to them. We are backlit. Battle Rap Trap. We are backlit. I love when he say that shit. Yeah. My man Henny was in the house. Um, back of the class. Bill of Hip Hop is real. Um, shoot. The Riot Movement was there. You know what I mean? One of the owners of the Riot was there. Romy Rome. Uh, I sound like Charlie Murphy when he was running down them old stories about who was there with him and Rick James. Yeah, the lady that was on Soul Train with the Asian long hair, she was there. He was there. This one was there. Uh, AC Green, his big ass is in the house. Nah. Nah, but um, yeah, it was great turnout. Great turnout. The regular bullpen heads was there. Um, the Shake the Rankings cast was there. Shake the Rankings, if you don't know, it's a uh, group of people that blog after uh, period, periodic times during the year. They blog about where the uh, top 10 or top 20 rankings of all the bullpen battlers, where they where they fall. They look at the last list that they compiled and what happened in between. And number seven, might they might have shook up the rankings. He might have dropped after a bad loss to number 18. And number 16 might be number three now. But they shake up the rankings. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm Sire, Sire boy, um, uh, family man Hayes. Hayes a family man. I believe he uh, he spearheaded that in the beginning, if I'm not wrong. Uh, shout out to Kizzy and EJ and Crazy and everybody on that staff that shakes the rankings up. But, you know, uh, that crew was in the house. But, you know, we get into the first battle. I talked to y'all to death about it. We got PC and Bonus. That was seven days ago, so let me, I hope my memory's still intact. I remember Coin Toss went towards PC. He gave it to Bonus. Or maybe Bonus just took off. I think Bonus might have wanted to go first. Anyway, Bonus goes first. Uh, what I do remember is going into the third, it was 1-1. One, one. I can't remember who won what round, but uh, I believe Bonus jumped out on PC, if I'm not mistaken. Don't hold me to it, but I just I do remember it was a very good battle all three rounds. Uh, it was a long battle too. I want to say that battle might have been about 
35, 40 minutes long. Uh, very layered, a lot of energy. Each one wanted to win the battle badly. They weren't just rapping to be rapping or be on camera. You know what I mean? Got my man, um, bonus from Camden, New Jersey, from the hard streets of CMD. One of the roughest cities in the, uh, the history of the world. Right across the bridge from Philly, they call it Over the Blue, right over the blue waters of the Delaware River. You know what I mean? Camden is right there. One of the roughest cities ever. Tough economy, a lot of murder, death, drugs. Like a lot of cities in America, but he's from a rough area, you know, worked his way out of it. Uh, solid, upstanding citizen, you know what I mean? Good dude. Long story short, bonus man. What do you call himself? The top light skin nigga. Uh, <laughs> that's what he called himself. I, I can't make this up. Yeah, but bonus did his numbers. PC raps slower, but he's the punchline champ, you know what I mean? He's coming with the punches, you know what I mean? Doing what he usually do and showing some different levels. And Bonus was doing a good amount of punching too, so it was a damn good battle. First round, could have went either way. Second round, could have went either way. Third round, Bonus trying to take this man's head off. Bonus going wild. Got a haymaker in there. I'm making memes on the stage while it's happening, you know what I mean? Taking pictures, video clips. Um, Bonus doing his shit, you know what I mean? I think that's what he had to... He got away with it, but he didn't get away with a bar. He kind of remixed the T-Rex shit. I believe that was him that, that hit that shit. But uh, PC, he did a veteran move in the bottom of the third. He dragged the shit out that round. He was repeating every bar in the first half of his round over like three times, real slow, and making the crowd repeat it and to the... Uh, to the rookie ear, the rookie fan is listening. It would sound like he's dragging Bonus and he's killing him. Nah, he wasn't. He wasn't. But he was wrapping his ass off and taking nothing from him. But when the smoke cleared, you know, I always ask the crowd or the people on the stage or the people watching, the people in the parking lot after the battle, I try to put my own poll by memory together. You know what I mean? I might ask about 15 to 20 people. Initially, it's usually they all going for the person who rapped last. So everyone's like, yeah, PC got that 2-1. I don't think it was a 30 bonus dead his numbers, but yeah, PC dragged him in the third round. He showed levels, showed veteran ability. So I got the first three or four people was like, yeah, PC won that battle just off the strength of what he did with that long, long third. Then I get in the parking lot, and I'm talking to other bullpen battle rappers, ones that are on the card and ones that are not. I'm like, yo, so how'd you have it, 2-1? PC, you know what I mean? 3 0 PC. They like, man, hell no. Bonus won that shit. He won the first two rounds. He had already won that shit before PC pulled that in the third. I said, oh shit. Damn. So I'm getting a you know a, a different perspective from other people. And uh then I heard other people still saying, nah, it could have went either way. That was very debatable. Everyone throws that debatable word around when they don't want to tell you who won and who lost, but nah, that it I would have to see that on film again. Damn good battle. I don't see how any battle on the card after that can beat it. That's how good that first battle was. It was power packed. Damn good. To the point where everyone that was watching, I even heard, had some naysayers that come to all the Atlanta events that every league has at that that location. And they was like, eh, I'm not a big fan of bullpen. I said, you ain't been in too many bullpen events and you ain't watching on YouTube. Give it a chance. I said, bullpen, this, just because you don't see the names you used to watching on URL, RBE, don't mean that this ain't going to be a great card. Watch what I tell you. You're going to love this card more than all the smack cards this weekend. Sure as hell, he came back saying that. You know what I mean? That was a hell of a card. This whole card, this whole event was great. Only five battles, but four of them, three of them, four of them were good and three of them were great. One of them was not so good. But we'll get into that in a minute. But, um, yeah, so PC bonus, they did their numbers. Great battle. One of the greatest battles of the weekend all together. Just pound for pound. I give that whole battle an A. That was an A. You know what I mean? If I give the whole battle a grade, both of the performers together as a fan, I give it an A. Second battle, don't get me the line, was it? I think it was it was Reggie P versus Flacco L. They said that this was the battle for the city. If y'all don't know what that means, in Atlanta, there's only a few MCs that actually 
either if they're not from there, they've been rapping there their whole career for over a decade, or they're from Atlanta and they rap in Atlanta. If you don't know the history of Reggie P, he's one of the first Atlanta um, battle rappers and one of the best MCs they ever had in the city of Atlanta. At one point, almost 20 years ago, he was uh, signed to um, Black Wall Street through the uh, famed rapper The Game. He was on that staff with um, Cicero and all them. The game, you know, everybody that was on Black Wall Street, but around the time that the label folded is when Reggie's album was supposed to come out, so he never released the album with that, you know, with that uh, faction, you know what I mean? But technically, he, he was an industry battle rapper first on MC War and different little things we had going on 20 years ago in Atlanta, and then battle rap kind of died before Smack even came about and grind time came about they was already battling Atlanta but the battle scene was horrible and Reggie was like one of the only guys that can really rap him Flacco L also came later and he could really rap too you know what I mean they wanted a few guys Chris Petty guys like that was really rapping um two decades ago so as far as that's concerned um Reggie came back to battle rap later on during the smack era and he almost had to start again. He did have to start again. And he's still, like, trying to make his bones. He's been on a lot of bigger leagues. But, uh, you know, he wants to – he definitely wants to get the smack and be one of the big names. But he's getting up there in age. But he's still in his 30s. He's getting up there in age, though. And I guess his late 30s now. But uh, he's still the man. He's still respected in Atlanta, if nowhere else. So he's a hard uh, individual to actually – actually beat clearly big names small names uh mid names you know he done battle a lot of people man reggie battled at least 12 times a year kind of reminds you like a, a danny myers a Dan, uh, don marino type he's very active you know i mean whether he's getting paid or not reggie is always battling he always gives you a hell of a battle a lot of league owners have seen reggie in the last during the pandemic and they really like reggie and a lot of them want to book reggie and have booked reggie very easily bookable, doesn't choke, gives you some powerful, loud, proud performances. But Flacco L is known for his pen. He's a good performer, but he's not a great performer, I'm being honest with you. That's just my opinion. He's a damn good rapper, though. And someone who's respected, really, in the Atlanta area for all the work he put in, all the different leagues, spit that heat and all that. You know what I mean? All the different leagues he's been in and, and put pain in, he, he never really got his, uh, his just due. And Battle Rap, he was in that same tournament during the original, the first year of the pandemic when Bullpen came outside um, first before anyone else in front of like a half a thousand people, more than that, almost a thousand. And um, Reggie P won that tournament. Flacco L performed on that card. And um, but Reggie P won the tournament. He beat 6'8 in a championship, won $1,000. He won the belt. So long story short, uh, Flacco L felt as though he should have won that tournament. And he don't get the respect that he do, especially in bullpen. So Flacco had a lot to prove. Reggie had a lot to prove. This one was for the city. They definitely respect each other. They definitely had some, um, not cringy moments, but just some touchy moments, touchy-filly, you know, just a little bit, a little bit chippy. It wasn't going to turn into no fight. They both respect each other. But it was a point... Well, I don't know what happened, but Reggie was so hyped. He grabbed Flacco, Flacco about six foot seven, some shit. He grabbed Big Boy by the arms. Reg Reggie had to reach up and grab him, just held him. Then Reggie had to look at himself like, the fuck am I doing? They both just, they didn't bust out laughing, but they kind of laughed. And Flacco was like, I get you, man. Just rap. Don't worry about rap. Keep rapping. You know, Reggie went in. I think Reggie had the most energy. Reggie had more haymakers, but think Flacco might have walked him down slow with a better pen that night. Flacco had the pen, Reggie had the crowd. Uh, I've seen people going up to Flacco L telling him he did a great job, but I've seen most of the smack URL rappers that was in the house. You know what I mean? The smack MCs was like, yo, Reggie P, dope, bro. I, look, I like what you said here. here. They was giving him his props. I saw Flacco walking out the building. He said, you know, Reggie got some things to work on, but he nice. I appreciate Reg, but, uh, you know, that was a 3-0 for me. A gentleman's, but he got some things to work on. Then I, in the same token, I heard two minutes before I left, I said, Reg, you know what I mean? Great job, man. 
Now, I asked you, man. I gave it to you, man. Flacco's the shit. I gave it to you, man. You got it. Then Reg was like, yeah, yeah, Flacco did good. You know what I mean? It was a gentleman's 30. I said, here go battle rappers. Everyone 30 to each other. Now, nah, but really, it was. It, you can call it debatable because I, I asked people. A lot of people had Flacco. A lot of people said Flacco as that shit. The pen was just better. And some people say it was undeniably Reggie, especially in the third, second and third round. He just, he took it back from Flacco. Flacco jumped out first, you know what I mean, outpinned him, and then they said Reggie just outperformed him, and you got to watch it again. Some shit Reggie said was crazy. The, the people with the, the best opinion, the biggest opinion, was very floored by Reggie, and they respected Flacco also. So it depends on what you look for, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people are bullpen related said it can go either way some of them said Flacco a few of them said Reggie uh, people who were just fans like Reggie gave a better performance I understood him better it wasn't as layered he was talking that real Atlanta street shit you know what I mean some straight up shit we all can digest and, and respect and understand and, and it, it, it hits your soul better you know Flacco hits your air palate better Reggie hits your soul. So it depends on what you want. I think Reggie gave a better show. Flacco might have gave a better pen. So I don't know. However you want to call it. I don't care. It was a great battle. I get that motherfucking battle A minus. Loved it. Great battle. Third battle. They were going to go into Lotta and Bars Major. But Lady Caution was ready to go right there. I interviewed Ash Cash. I asked her what she's doing different against Lady Caution that she hasn't been able to be successful with in the past against other MCs as far as finishing her rounds. She said, she corrected me. She said, I don't have any problem with preparation. I'm great at rhyme prep. She said, I just got, to be honest with you, a great case of stage fright my whole career. She said, don't bother her in acting and shows, movies, plays, but when it comes to battle rap, that's something she got to get over. She said, she feel like she fixed it. She got up there, started her first round, was doing good. Lady Caution went first, topped her first, and went ape shit. There was a point where Tay Rock told Lady Caution, hey, you come here, come here, and kissed on the lip, gave her a passionate kiss on the lip. I said, that's shit, that's some shit you don't see in battle rap. I respect that in battle rap. You don't see it, so that was kind of cool, you know what I mean? So they had that little, you know what I mean, uh, 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 steamy moment, kissing in front of the whole crowd. That was something different. And then it was Ash's turn to go. I'm in Ash's corner. I see Malcolm over in her corner. And Ash started rapping. And then she didn't have it. She was stumbling. She tried to get through it. She was like, round time. She gave it up. <sighs> Stage fright again. I saw oh, Ash. I wanted her to do so good. Even Caution wanted her to do good. Caution tried to kill her. Don't get it wrong. But don't get me wrong. But she. She was saying, you know, take your time, girl. You know what I mean? She wanted good footage. She wanted this footage to go out and not get vaulted, so forth and so on. And she just wanted Ash Cash to level up and do good. And uh, that didn't happen in that round. Lady Caution's second round happened to be better than the first. I was like, oh, Jesus. Ash behind now. She ain't got the momentum. She ain't got, she ain't got the rap. She ain't got nothing for Caution. Ash come back in the second round, starts off slow. Then she start dumping. I said, okay, Ash, oh, shit. We got a battle now. Caution like that shit. She was like, yeah, yeah, you know. You could tell her the crowd liked it, this and that. And then uh, I think I might be exaggerating. I think Ash might got through about a minute and a half, two minutes of her second round. And then I felt like she was about to lose it. She was smart. She kind of like smoothly just ended the round. I wasn't going to say she, at worst, she jerseyed out. She didn't choke. She just stopped. Like, yo, I finished my bar, finished my line. She like, all right, round. I'm good. I'm good. And he's like, okay, now it's a battle. You know what I mean? She down to nothing, but it's still a battle. I'm like, all right, you know, maybe she got a powerful third. Never know. It never happens, but Caution might mess up in the third, and you have the greatest third round ever. Now it's at least a debatable. You might even edge it. Who knows? Nah, man, Carson went, got better in the third, and she wasn't the second in the first. Dropped about two headaches, brought the house down, had people jumping off the stage. I said, God damn, Carson, nice. Lady Carson, nice, man. Y'all, man, y'all talk all that shit, and oh, that's Tay Rock's lady, and oh, he feeding her bars. No, he don't, because you could tell Tay Rock be in her battles and don't even be like fucking looking at her or the crowd. He just be doing his own thing. 
You know what I mean? But he was reacting to this one, this battle here. Rock was reacting. He knew his lady was dumping. You can tell he don't hear all the shit. They they don't always uh, 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 spar or go over her rounds. You know what I mean? She liked to surprise him. You know what I mean? And and I don't think he want to be bothered with that. I think he want her to be her own creator. You know what I mean? And he, he respect that shit. And she respect his shit. But he looked like he was pleasantly surprised. Not surprised. Um, pleasantly moved. And I think he really enjoyed his lady's material. So off of Tay Rock, this is about Lady Caution. Lady Caution had three great rounds. Y'all female rappers, I wouldn't want to stay in front of her this year after, you know, she feels as though she was slighted in her positioning. In the um, the Wody voting last year, I don't think she lost one fucking battle last year. She had a lot of one-rounders, battled a lot of dudes, battled a lot of names that weren't big, but I don't give a shit. She was damn near flawless in 2022, and she's starting off 2023 taking people's heads off. So she had three solid rounds. Bottom of the third is on Ash Cash. It was just like Tori Doe yesterday. She did not rap at all. She didn't say anything. She didn't try to rap. She knew she didn't have a third round. She wasn't going to sit there and humiliate herself. She walked over Lady Caution and gave her a big hug. And John John said, okay, the battle's over. That was that for the third battle, so... I gave the battle a D, a D plus, only because Ash only finished one round, choked in the first, and gave nothing in the third, and Lady Caution kind of saved the battle by giving us three great rounds, so shout out to Ash Cash, I, I heard her say, seen her on Twitter that said she probably, thank you for everyone that ever supported her, thanks for the love, battle rap is not for me, I'm retiring, I don't know. I think she's gonna retire. She might feel that way now, but I don't know. I hope she don't retire. I like Ash Cash. I, I like the potential she has, but like she told me, that stage fright be heavy. I don't know about it. If y'all don't know about it, y'all don't know about it. It's just it's plaguing her. It's just it's a disease for her when she's on that stage. She probably got some great shit to say. She had she happened against Hope Trillion, you know, in her um tryout for Bags and Bodies on YouTube on the show, and. It happened to her, and when she finally spit in the third round, she was dumping on Hope Trilly, but it was too fucking late because she choked the first two rounds, and Hope had two epic first two rounds, so it was too late, too much too late, but I know she can rap. Ash Cash can rap, y'all. She jazzed the rapper's best friend. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Ash Cash can rap. She got a terrible state case of stage fright. She says she retired. It was a bad outing for her. I was hoping for better, but it didn't happen that way. Lady Caution, easy 30. Nah, easy 20. It was a 20-piece no biscuit because she spit her third, but Ash ain't spit a third, so we can't call... Yeah, I mean, she won clearly, but I, I ain't going to count the third round. That's because the other person got at least rap. It was a clear win. We'll just call it as that. Gave the battle a D+. Plus. Next to last battle, they took a break before this battle came back. Long break in the parking lot. We had um, a lot of Zay Bars Major. A lot of goes first. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of had an average round. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting more energy out of a lot of Zay. Great veteran from North Jersey. He been behind the camera a lot. You know, he got his own businesses, him and his lady doing great in life. You know what I mean? Great performer, uh, great rapper, got great music out. Always been a great pen, great battle rapper. I expected more against Bars Major first round. Bars was telling me, He's uh, nursing an injury right now, so he can't do the burpees and backflips off the stage. He can't do all the physical fucking damn near breakdancing that he do. You know, he's a personal trainer. You know what I mean? Very great shape, but he's nursing an injury, a leg injury, so he couldn't really do nothing but rap, which is good because he showed levels tonight. So bottom of the first, we go with um, Bars Major. He started slow. I understood everything he said, but I didn't understand why he don't want to kill Loso. I'm not Loso. A lot of Zayn the first round. To me, it was an average first round from both of them. I'm like, okay. Uh, uh, an event that started out with two great battles and a bad third battle is now going, it went up and it's starting to go this way. I said, man, this event is going down. By the second round, a lot of Zay gave you all the energy you needed. Schemes, everything. A lot of Zay had everything. Just broke out the whole arsenal of his 
his repertoire. You know what I mean? His battle rap repertoire. And um, top of the second. Then uh, from what I remember. From what I remember, Bars Major was more energetic. And that was another close round that could go either way. They both, to me, up to that point, did their best rapping in the second round. Lada Zay gave a, a third that was good enough to probably edge the battle at this point on top of the third. But then something different happened in the bottom of the third for Bars Major. He sacrificed the bottom of his third round. He sacrificed a potential win to talk about some real personal um, heart-touching shit involving... Um, it was a deep scheme and some deep information about his lady recently delivering a baby. And at one point during in the hospital during the childbirth process, she died for about 20 seconds. You know what I mean? Flatline. And he said, even though he said even though he was alive, he thought her and the baby were dying and he's dying with them. You know what I mean? I don't I I can't paraphrase. He put it in rhyme form. It was real deep. It was touching everybody in the house. It was deep. But basically, he said they lived through it. They doing good. He's blessed. And he look at life different. And it was just a really deep round. So if you were to judge win-loss, I don't think anyone was even thinking win-loss after you heard his round. So I don't know. Some Most people say uh, Loso got it. Some people said that uh, Bars Major third was so damn touching that you can't take the battle away from him because he wasn't even trying to win he by default he probably won anyway because the shit he was saying was actually deeper and heart touching and kind of like a learning lesson and he even touched some people I'm not going to mention what I'm seeing but somebody was on the car was like yo bro when I was interviewing him afterwards he's like, I didn't even know you went through that me and my lady went through the same thing semi recently and it wasn't so good for us so it was it touched my soul and I needed to hear that you know, the message that you gave. So it was really strong, man. It was, uh, yeah, he's a very commendable brother, man. Barnes Major. So was Lada Zay. So it was a good battle. I gave that battle a C plus. I gave it a C plus. Just because it had a slow start from both of them the first round. But from what Barnes Major told me in an interview afterwards with me, he told me it seemed slow to me because everything was building up to that third round. Now I understand it. I understand it better. In its totality, when you, if you go backwards, listen to his third, second, then the first, it all builds up to that third. That's why he wasn't giving it all in his first. It was, it was a story he's giving you. Like, everything's leading up to, like, everything he's been through leads up to that third round. And it, it was a lesson behind it. Deep, you know, very thought-provoking round. I was very impressed. Um, That was the next to last battle. You know what I mean? The headline battle. Low Silver or Super Black. Many people are familiar with Black. Black been around a decade. Loso, maybe almost as long. You know Loso, probably the number one hitter in bullpen. You know what I mean? And probably next to John John Adon, the most famous bullpen battle rapper ever. Very prominent on Smack You All Around across the country. One of the four horsemen, one of the horsemen, I should say. You know, he do his numbers. That's Loso at the end of the day. Some even call him a top tier. So. Coin toss goes to uh, Loso. He makes Super Black go first. Black dumping on Loso. He ain't sparing him at all. Loso come right back dumping on Black. Great first round. Could go either way. Second round. Gotta get that joint to Black. Black is killing Loso. He ripping them apart, man. Loso doing his numbers too. Don't get me wrong. Loso was rapping his ass off, but Black was rapping to Loso. About Loso. It got serious. Loso was breaking his ass down too. You know what I mean? But at that point, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't have Loso two nothing on nobody's card. But I got I don't got Black two nothing. I got them both one one. Third, Super Black lost. He left Earth. He left Earth, and the personals hit. It hit Loso. No, not so much the personal. The um, 
the charges he put out on Loso about stealing bars and having proof. He said he took bars from Gunhood Zeke and he could prove it. And they were on the internet. Gunhood Zeke already put it out. And he said, not only, not only that, he said something to me after the battle. I didn't, I didn't research it. But he said Loso recycled something in the first round during the battle against Super Black. Something he didn't expect. So, expect. so basically... He's painting a picture that Loso be still in bars. He he's great, but he's not as great as y'all think. You know what I mean? He uh he's not, you know what I mean? The man of the man of God is not very honest when it comes to battle rap, is what he's trying to portray in that round. And Loso, you know, he had a good third round too, but it can't supersede the personals that Super Black was throwing at Loso. So a lot of people edge Super Black, even some of the smack you are out. Rappers gave it to Super Black. But when I get in the parking lot, all the bullpen rappers like, nah, man, you know, Black, he lost, he left Earth, he did his numbers, he was great, but Loso still was just a little bit more clever than Black. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. That was split down the middle. Some people said, no one said it was a 30 either way. It was definitely a debatable battle, and depending on what you was looking for, I would say Black had the crowd, but Loso had the pet. But Black had the pen too. But Loso really had the pen, and Black had the crowd. Black had the performance, and he said the shit to hit home, and you can see it on Loso's face. Whether it's true or not, it felt like it was true, and I researched it later, and it was true. I mean, from what I saw, I mean, damn, it's, the proof was in the pudding. But, you know, does that win you a whole battle? Probably not. Still got to outwrap Loso for the totality of three rounds, for the majority of three rounds. So to me, it was debatable because I'm going by what everyone that was there said. That's one of them you got to wait till the footage come out. Let it marinate a little bit. When the footage come out, then if there's a poll, I'm sure the Shake the Rankings people going to let you know. But the Shake the Rankings should have shook it up. I think they had Black above Loso now. The rate, the rankings kind of switched. I, if I'm not mistaken, Loso's still top five, but I believe Super Black's like number three now. And Loso might be four or five or something crazy. I don't know. But um, I know I think Bad News is number one. I don't know the new rankings by heart. I think I got it on my other phone. But yeah, Shake the Rankings is is very interesting. I don't think they only did the top 15 for this uh, the end of the spring, for this uh, this month. But it was interesting. It was interesting. Um. Yeah, that's how that went down. Bullpen Battle League. Great event. Um, you could tell John John, his family enjoyed themselves. Uh, all the people, the overflow from the Smack URL crowd that came out to support and spent they $40. They got four out of five good, four and a half out of five good battles. You know what I mean? Great night. A lot of fellowship and great interviews out there. Some really good uh, media personalities was out there putting in work, you know what I mean, for the culture, and um, nobody was out there stealing the battles and recording them and stuff. You know, I, I had some 30-second or less snippets, and I put them online on my YouTube channel, Light Skin Television, and, you know, feel free to donate if y'all want the people that have been watching the whole time, if you like the material I'm giving you and the content I'm giving you. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was really great. I was very impressed by the bullpen event. Bullpen event, pound for pound, I enjoyed myself with those little five battles more than I did with uh, Gnome Impact, no disrespect to uh, URL. Had a better time at the bullpen joint and the app exclusive joint on Friday in that hot little um, fucking shed garage. You know what I mean? <laughs> no disrespect. But uh, let's not get it wrong. Uh, Smack, Beatley and them, they brought the crowd to Atlanta for you to have a, a very successful event. Or a good time that weekend, they set it up. They didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? The rappers just got to take the shit more serious. Less drama, less, less crazy shit going on. I'm not even going to get into the outside stuff. I think the rest of the media covered that. But uh, if, if y'all want some more of my time, I'll cover Chrome 23 right quick. Might as well. I'm going to break down this footage anyway. Oh, I do have Shake the Rankings. If y'all want to hear the rankings, the up-to-date rankings from... Um, the bullpen um, battle league media staff, which is Tyree, 
uh, Merle Kizzy, my boy AJ, and PG Skillet, who's also a battle rapper and a very good one at that. Um, down with Bullpen from the DMV area or close to that area. Um, shake the rankings. Number one Bullpen Battle League rapper right now. Number one. Out of a, oh, this is the top 10. Out of about 50 of them that come in and out of bullpen, 30 of them may be solid or actual members of bullpen battle league rappers. The top 10 right now, according to the Shake the Rankings group, staff, Bad News is number one. With his bad bags and bodies fame. Clone, who owns his own league, a great league within his own, Wartown Battle League. Down there, Warner Robins, which is Wartown. Uh, down there where Fort Valley State University, um, HBCU College is down there. Also right on that campus. And um, Warner Robins is also a military base. That's why they call it Wartown. Wartown Battle League. Based out of Warner Robins, but they do half of their battles be at Macon, Macon, Georgia, which is not as far. Maybe an hour and a half from Atlanta. I've been to both towns to support Wartown. Clone runs a great league, great owner, great battle rapper, came a long way, especially since he got out the, you know, you know, since he's a free man, let's put it that way. He's doing even better. Been on all the major platforms, RBE, been in that uh, tournament for um, King of the Dot, been on URL, you know, he's done it all. The Riot, he do his numbers. Clone always upsetting him. Uh, one of your top tiers, and, and they brushing under the rug like he ain't do it. Country boy doing his thing, you know what I mean? From Duval all the way through middle, middle Georgia, central Georgia. But clones number two. Clones number two. My man D Flames number three. D Flames number three. Super Black is above Loso now after that battle. They put Super Black over Loso. So that shows you the Shake the Ranking staff thinks that Super Black edged Loso in that battle. On Sunday night, last Sunday night, seven days ago. Moving right up the rankings is the uh, the Bullpen Battle League Tournament Champion, the one thousand dollar winner from three years ago, Reggie P. Reggie P. is six behind Loso. Loso's fifth. So it's Bad News Clone, Deep Flame, <coughs> Super Black, Loso, Reggie P. Top light skin nigga, bonus. They got bonuses seven. After battle on PC, I don't know if that tells you one thing, one way or another. Maybe the staff feel like bonus beat PC. I don't know if that's the reason why he moved up so high, but he's at seven. Seven J, who be putting in work, he even upset uh, Calico. He beat Calico on the major stage, one rounder, but he still beat him. Seven J is number eight. C Money ain't been battling. He only battle about once a year on bullpen, but his battles be like so memorable. See, money so great out of here. Money still in the top ten. He number nine, and my girl comes in a cat. You know, number ten. You know what I mean? First lady of bullpen. Bullpen after her great battle against Shuni the rap on a major, major stage. Cashflow Rizzy's number ten. Cashflow Rizzy number ten, from out of Virginia by way of Atlanta. But um. Cash flow 10. You know what I mean? Bad news, clone, D Flame, Super Black, Loso, Reggie P, bonus. 7J, C Money, Cash Flow Rizzy, in that order, bullpen over bullshit. It 